This video is for firefighter recruits who are preparing to write for their firefighter aptitude tests. This is a FPSI style question. So you could see it on a fact test or you could see it on an NFST test. Um, I particularly like it because we're going to be looking at uh, basic operations and how they play out in a word problem. So you can use this video for any aptitude test because all aptitude tests have this type of math on it. Um, if you've been following along in the mathematical ability video series that I've been producing here, first of all, thank you very much. If you have yet to do so, hit subscribe and go back. We are on video number seven. So go back to number one and um, catch up to video seven because the questions start at a very basic level and then uh, as you go through the series, you'll see that we're getting into more complex math. Um, okay, so let's talk about this question. I'll get into that. And um, we're going to cover two things today. The first is always going to be the four steps to solving word problems because I want you to get used to this strategy um, and I want you to be able to do it in your head. If you're studying at home, break it out on paper like what I have here on the screen. In a test, you're going to be doing this in your head, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the four steps first and then we'll get into the question. So the four steps to solving word problems are first, identify what you know out of the word problem. Two, plan to solve the problem. And remember that there are things that are expected of you on firefighter aptitude tests that are not necessarily in the instructions. So keep that in mind. Also, number three, you're going to solve the problem. This is where you actually do the math in the word problem. And then lastly, you're going to evaluate and select your answer. All right, so the question is this. You are in a hotel elevator with a weight capacity of 1,650 pounds. You weigh 173 pounds. With you in the elevator, there are three men who weigh 184 pounds, 192 pounds, and 116 pounds. There are also two women who each weigh 156 pounds. How much more weight could the elevator hold before exceeding capacity? So in the first step, we want to identify what we know, starting with what type of math we're working on. This is important because you are writing a mixed math test, which means you could see different types. You will see different types of math um, in each question that you do. So the first question could be on whole numbers. The second question could be on decimals. The third question could be on fractions. So it's very important first to identify the type of math that you're working with. And then from there, identify the operations that you have to do in terms of adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. And then lastly, identify what the question is actually asking you to solve. So we're going to go through that right now. Um, to identify the type of math, I suggest looking just looking at the numbers that you're working with because the type of math is obvious. If it's decimals, you'll see decimals. If it's fractions, you'll see fractions. If it's percents, you could see a percent sign. So look at your numbers. We have whole numbers, okay? So there's nothing special about them. Um, we've just got basic whole numbers, 1,650, 173, 184, 192, 116, and 156. They're all whole numbers. Now, in terms of the operations, I want to pull these out for you because they're not necessarily clear. And if you're one of my students, you should know these. So you can pause the video and go back into your notes and get the notes for um, word problem vocabulary. Um, for those of you following along on the YouTube channel, thank you again for that. We'll work through this right now together, okay? So, um, all right, it says, you weigh 173 pounds. With you in the elevator, there are three men who weigh 184, 192, and 116. We're just going to basically add these guys up. There's nothing special about those just yet. 
It says there are also two women who each weigh 156 pounds. So when you see each, in this case, we're going to multiply. Okay, so we're going to multiply the two by 156. And then lastly, it says how much more, this one's tricky because we see more we typically want to add, but in this case, we're going to subtract. Okay, so your operations for this question are to add, uh, multiply, and subtract. And um, it, when you look at the question in terms of what you're asked to solve, it says, how much more weight could the elevator hold before exceeding capacity? So we want to know, um, first of all, we have to add the um, weight of the elevator that we have currently and then subtract that from the total capacity that's provided to get the answer. So how much is um, how, how much more can we add on here into the elevator? Okay, so now uh, that actually takes us into step two, which is plan to solve the problem. So that's listed there for you. Number one, you're going to add the weight on the elevator that is there. Um, and when you're adding the weight, keep in mind, you're going to first have to do some back math in the sense that you have to multiply the two by the 156 and then add that um, product to the 184, 192, and 116, then do your adding for all of the weight, okay? So add the weight on your elevator and then subtract that sum from your weight capacity. So um, we're gonna jump down to step three here, solve the problem. You can see I've done the back math for you, um, but in this case, you would you would have to do the uh, multiplication first and then add that to your list like I said before and then add all of that weight up and then from there subtract it from the total. The total is given to you in the question here. Okay, so that's provided. You're going to subtract. There's some regrouping and borrowing in that. Do make sure you know how to regroup and borrow with adding and subtracting. And then lastly, you're going to move on to step four, which is to um, evaluate or select the correct answer. In this case, C, 673 pounds is the correct answer. All right, that takes us to the end of the math question um, video number seven in our um, in our series on how to solve word problems using the four block or four step method that I teach in Smart Tutoring. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can either send me an email or you can um, just send me a comment if you like. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.